Musab Sufan says his home is like a prison with raised walls and barbed wire. He describes the time when he and his family were nearly killed after Israeli settlers threw a petrol bomb into his house. That was 20 years ago, but attacks by those living illegally further up the valley in the occupied West Bank haven't stopped since. Last week was the fourth time he says Israeli settlers set one of his cars on fire, and like thousands of Palestinians who've been regularly targeted, he won't be receiving any compensation. We have full insurance, but our case won't be considered, as settler attacks aren't covered. It's costing us a lot. No one from the government has come to assess the damage either. We can't live like this. Israeli settlers attacked Palestinian homes in Hawara town that same day, in the worst such violence in years. It led to international outrage, but people here say they haven't received any of the $100,000 promised by the Palestinian Authority, and it wouldn't be enough to cover the costs. Activists say that attack highlights a lack of consumer protection laws and the need for a long-term solution. We have a social responsibility. We live under occupation. We call on the government to introduce special policy reforms for the industry to compensate those that have lost their cars to settlers' violence. Financial profits cannot be more important than Palestinian lives. Insurance companies in the occupied West Bank don't cover damage caused by Israeli settler or military raids. We're not shirking off responsibility. We're working within international laws. There have been times that exceptional cases were covered through a private social responsibility fund. But it's up to the government and civil organizations to come together with an alternative. We're open to discussion. The Palestinian government hasn't responded to our requests for an interview. It's reportedly creating a new committee to look into the Hawara attack, but there appears to be no plan to tackle the wider problem. Now, every Palestinian family we've spoken to here, so they've absolutely reached breaking point. The financial losses because of settler attacks are increasing year on year. And they said that it's had a massive toll on not only their mental, but also physical health. Next to Mossab is a pile of rocks hurled at them by settlers living at the top of the hill. Feeling abandoned, he says he's been left with no choice but to fend for himself. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera, Burin village in occupied West Bank.